Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I've already published around 12 YouTube videos covering different topics around uh, SAP automation concepts. So this is our lesson 13 where I'm going to teach you how can we handle the pop-up messages in the SAP application by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So by end of this lesson, you will be able to steer pop-up messages using the latest version Tricentis Tosca 16. So while working on any SAP process, a pop-up message requiring user input might appear. So basically, so whenever you work on SAP application, right? So user might encounter different types of pop-ups like confirmation pop-up, warning pop-up message, any question message or error or stop message or custom messages. So these are all different pop-up messages uh, that any user will be encountering while working on SAP application. So now I'm going to teach you how can you handle these pop-up messages while automating your SAP application. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we handle the pop-up messages by using Tricentis Tosca. Tricentis is a software testing company headquartered in Austin, Texas. It provides software testing automation and software quality assurance products like Neoload performance testing tool, Tricentis Tasca automation tool, etc. Tricentis is expanding its learning communities and just launched a new community called Shift Sync. So, Shift Sync is a space for developers, testers, and DevOps specialists to easily share the knowledge, connect with like minded people, and enhance quality in the development process with valuable content, user forums, and industry experts' contribution. ShiftSync offers an engaging space for professionals to connect and learn. So join ShiftSync today by using the link provided in the description. Also, Tricentis is conducting webinar on building accountability via Jira process by Vipin Jain. So you can click on attend button to reserve your spot by using the link provided in the description. Okay, so this is my uh, Tricentis Tosca 16. So if you remember in lesson 11, okay, uh, 11th lesson, we have learned how can we create and verify the entire sales order. So basically once you place the create the sales order, you will get the order number confirmation, right? So that order number confirmation we are capturing from your status bar, correct? So basically here, if you see standard order has been saved. So here I'm actually capturing the order number in this particular test case, right? I'm actually, what I'm doing, I'm storing the order number in the buffer called order number. So I'm going to use that order number, whatever we are storing from this particular test case, while automating our outbound delivery. So what is our outbound delivery? When I want to create an, any outbound delivery, so let's say this is my SAP GUI, okay? So for creation of your outbound delivery, the transaction code is forward slash N VL01N, okay? So to create any outbound delivery, see enter. So this is creation of your outbound delivery with order reference. Here your shopping point is 1201. One, I'm entering my shopping point, right? And here, uh, let's select the date in future date, okay? This is my future date, okay? And here the order number. So whatever the order number that is generated while creating the sales order, right? So we'll, let's see what it is stored here, okay? Earlier, whatever we ran, I can see the order number as 
seven three four five six. Okay, so the same order number I'm going to take here. Okay, and then while creating my outbound delivery with order reference, I'm going to enter the same order number here. Okay, so I'm explaining you what scenario we are automating and what kind of pop-up message we are going to handle. Okay, and here once you enter your order number, shipping point for creating your outbound delivery. Hit on enter. Once you hit on enter, so let's say here I want to exit the screen. For example, okay, here you have a exit button on top of uh, the toolbar on the toolbar, right? Hit exit. Then what happens? A delivery processing pop-up will be appearing. So basically, this is your delivery processing system will exit processing. Do you want to save your data? It is asking. So, do you want to save your data or no? So now, how can you handle this pop-up? That's what I'm gonna explain you in this session. Okay. For now, I'm gonna make it as no. Okay. So, how can you handle such pop-up messages in SAP? Okay. So for that, let's go back to our task card. And I'm going to copy this. Let me copy this, okay? And paste this here. So name this as 13 pop up handling, okay? So this is my test case. Okay, so now if you see what I'm doing here, see my test case is already there. I just want to explain you, okay. Here I'm actually same like previous verify sales order, right? How we used to open the transaction in the same way, I'm opening the transaction here, open transaction. I'm entering the transaction code, right? I'm entering the transaction code here as forward slash, VL01N and then hit enter, correct? VL01, hit enter, which will open your outbound delivery with order reference screen. And here, what I'm doing, I'm entering the shipping point as 1201, correct? 1201. And what is your date? I'm selecting as today's date plus 30 days. Okay, I can do that. And here, the order number, as I told you earlier, whatever the order number that we are storing here, I'm actually calling the same order number in this particular test case. Same buffer. I'm calling the same buffer here. And then here, once you enter the order number, the entire thing, you are actually, you're going to hit enter. Correct? So that's why I'm hitting enter. And then immediately here, let me delete this. Okay. Let me delete this, this entire test case. Okay. Let me delete all this. Okay. Delete close transaction. Let's keep the close transaction. Okay. Here I'm going to add a new test case here. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new folder handling pop-up okay so basically here instead of save i need to press exit right here i can see the buttons transaction code says the same module whatever we use here the same module i'm using here also instead of save i want to actually click on exit so as soon as i click on exit Right. Once you enter here, once you hit enter, it opens this and then you are clicking on exit. So as soon as you click on exit, that is where your pop-up comes into picture. Right. So now here I need to open my module. Let's go to selection, go to modules. Okay. And here the task are give you whatever we 
uh, scanned earlier the same we am scanning okay here this is my outbound delivery correct so if you see here actually create outbound delivery this is one right under here we already have shopping point this this module whatever the module i'm talking about that we already have but now i need to create a new pop-up module i want to scan this pop-up how right click here click on scan sorry scan and your application So once you hit scan and select the application, now you need to scan that pop-up message. Okay. So it is opening your X scanner and select this is the pop-up message I want to scan. Okay. Select this and click on scan. So as soon as you click on scan, so now you need to capture the buttons that you would like to handle. Right. What buttons? See, I want to capture this yes button, no button, correct, and then cancel button, right? And here, don't forget to rename this one, okay? I want to rename this as delivery processing pop-up, right? This is your pop-up screen, correct? And then let's save this. okay and close it so let's i don't want to say this one okay let now let's close this entire sap because we already captured our pop-up if you see here under create outbound delivery we have create outbound delivery where we are actually entering shopping point order reference right apart from that we also created one more new module called delivery pop-up where we captured all the controls of your pop -up message okay here let's go back here again as we already captured the pop-up message okay let's go back to our test case so let's place this here the module here let's go back to test case here handling pop-up now let's bring this module here and then go to test case so what is the module just now we added the module that we added is this one correct drag and drop here okay so once we click on exit you need to handle the pop-up so it is asking do you want to save or not so let's say i don't want to save enter x here so basically i want to hit no i want to hit no on the pop-up right and then close the transaction right so now let's save this module again, save this and try to run this particular test case. Right click. So before running, I want to close the SAP GUI. Right. Oh, sorry. Because we automated from the open transaction. Right. So for that, I need to open SAP GUI. Right. Let's open the SAP GUI. And here. Okay, open your connection, enter your username, enter your password. So now let's run the case because see we started our test case from opening the transaction, right? So right click and run this. So it should open the transaction of your outbound delivery creation. Okay, so it's created. It entered this, it hit end. Now it should hit on exit and then it should hit on no and close the transaction. So perfectly working. So that means, see, any kind of pop up you can simply scan by using X scanner and then you can handle your pop up messages. So to avoid confusion, see, till now we worked on creation of sales orders. Okay, so from this lesson, we started working on creation of outbound delivery. So to create the outbound delivery, you need to enter input shipping point and sales order details. Correct. So where 
in the sales order number whatever we are using that we are using from our sales order test case right so let me yeah sales order test case from there you are actually capturing your order number and storing into buffer the same buffer we are calling while creating your outbound delivery right so this is where we are actually calling your order number and then so let me execute this again simply we are actually let me close this we close the transaction and here let's keep this open i want to just explain one more time to avoid the confusion okay what we did okay so what we did so this one is same as the first step whatever we automated is same as earlier one opening transaction you already know this let's run this open transaction you opened your transaction right now we already captured the module here create outbound delivery with order number what we captured we captured shipping point we captured selection date and then we captured order so here the order number what you need to do i'm actually calling the buffer order number correct so let's run this right click and run this i'm entering all the details done i entered the details now you need to click on enter for that you know right the standard toolbar module you can just call your standard toolbar module correct right click and run this which will actually enter the transaction it clicks on enter done it clicked on enter then you are actually landing on to delivery create overview right here instead of entering the data and committing what i am doing i want to exit this so here again i am calling the same module here also right one more time this time instead of hitting enter i am hitting i selected exit right so which will give you a pop up so right click and run this what happens it clicks on exit see it appeared your pop up message so now we already captured the pop up message just now right and i dragged and drop that pop up message and i hit no right so now just run this particular test step so it is going to hit no see that's it so this is how you can handle your pop up messages in sap gui okay if you have any queries please leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos like share and subscribe to my channel thank you